Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be reviewing the all new Terra electric vehicle charger. This here is a portable vehicle charger, allowing you to go ahead and essentially charge it wherever you're going because it has a universal connector. That's right, this features an NEMA 15-15P214-50R adapter cord and has an adapter for J1772 to Tesla as well as a J1772 cable holder. This here is a level 1 and a level 2 portable EV charger, giving you the full capability to go ahead and charge it on the go. Not only that, it also features a smart integration screen, the touchscreen capability, as well as app integration, and the way to go ahead and customize it to your liking. Now together we'll be unboxing this as well as trying it out and seeing exactly how does it perform. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so check it out, so this here's the packaging, this here's the box, uh, they sent us this kit as well as these accessory pieces as well. Now obviously in the modern day world, electric vehicles are literally taking over and they're just about everywhere now. So having a good electric charger is very important. Now obviously a lot of different companies are making different kinds and there's so many different adapters out there. Plus if your house doesn't have a 14-50R port, you can't really use majority of these different chargers. Now this one here comes with an adapter cord that converts your 15-15P house port to a 14-50R adapter port that will go with this. Now granted, you don't get that full charging capability out of it, but it does give you that universal connection that allows you to go ahead and use it everywhere. Not only that, this thing's also waterproof on top of everything else, so you can go ahead and use this outside at ease. All right, so let's go ahead and see what they sent us. All right. And this here is everything that you need. Literally, you can go ahead and just put this in the back of your vehicle and if you ever get stranded, you can just go ahead and take this out, find a spot to go ahead and charge it, and you're ready to go. Uh, so there is this two double zipper and everything's inside here. All right, uh, so off the back, looks pretty cool. Uh, so this here's our adapter. We go ahead and convert it to our house adapter. So this here's gonna be our typical J1772. Uh, you can see that right there. And then it does come with an adapter to convert it to a Tesla as well. So it is nice that they do include both. Obviously, Tesla has their own thing going, so it's always great to have that. Pretty cool, definitely very simple. So there's our other holder. Um, and yeah, you can see you have all your functionalities right there. Got this nice looking LED screen here as well. And then of course you do have your touch buttons as well. Now the cable is actually a very long cable, it's 25 feet. So it does give you a good amount of play in terms of connecting it to your vehicle. So this here is gonna be our holster for our specific uh, port. Here is gonna be some mounting ports. So we actually have some screws and of course our user manual. That's gonna be for mounting on this particular bracket, which this would slide in. So the beautiful thing behind this is that it's designed to be portable. So you could technically just take it about and being universal, you can just go ahead and plug it into any adapter like this, or you can go ahead and use the converter just like this as well. Well, all right, so to kind of demonstrate how this works, you can see I have it plugged it directly into the wall here, and uh, I have my full connection right here. So right now it shows that there's this wait time, it shows the power outage, it shows uh, the, the temperature, right now it says no plug. Um, you have your buttons here on the side. You can, you can change it between the different modes and timing and different things like that. So that's kind of cool that it does have its own little screen right there. And again, the fact that it's portable makes it really convenient. So just like that, you can go ahead and charge your vehicle on the go. Let's go ahead and take this outside next and try it out. All right, so the plan is to mount it right over here. Now I have these two different designs. Uh, probably go with the, we'll go with the flag this time just to see how this looks. So we'll go ahead and mount this really quick. All right, so I went ahead and mounted our holder right over there as well as our holster for a specific charger. And uh, yeah, everything should be here. So let's go ahead and set this thing up. All right, so this is our setup here. Uh, it's kind of just sitting inside this little nest right here. You can technically lift it out without any issue. Uh, I do have the wire connected to the adapter for our specific wall outlet. And then of course you can technically flip it or inverse it based on how you like it. Now right now it does say that it's nothing is connected. And then from here you can just go ahead and play with the different controls as necessary. You have the timer mode and then you have your cable here and then just go ahead and disconnect it by doing that. And then this here is our Rivian today. So we're just gonna press this button here to open up this and let's see if this works. All 
All right. So we do have our charge indicator going on. And then right over here, it'll show the uh, current voltage. And yeah, it's exactly doing what it's entitled to do. And that is actually great, so it works. Now the nice thing about this is it's fully portable, so I can technically disconnect it, lift it up, throw it in the bag, put it in the trunk, and I'm off to go. So overall, a great concept, and I love the fact that it's nice and portable and easy to use. Now with that said, if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now, bye-bye.